The movie God's Not Dead was a tremendous hit at the box office, grossing over $63 million. It was a total surprise hit in Hollywood, and it touched the hearts of Christian audiences and brought them to their feet. And now, at long last, the highly anticipated sequel, God's Not Dead 2, is out in theaters, and critics are saying it's even better than the first. What's more important is God's Not Dead 2 is the right movie at the right time. It addresses the issue of freedom of speech. It helps Christians to understand how to stand up for what they believe in most. Melissa Joan Hart is here, as well as Jesse Metcalf. Hi guys! Jesse, your character Tom Endler is a charismatic, sympathetic, union-appointed attorney who's hired by the state to defend Grace's freedoms. You have this incredibly explosive courtroom scene where your performance is absolutely electrifying. We don't want to give anything away to our viewers, but can you just tell us a little bit about how you prepared for this role and how you related to the real life cases that are outlined at the end of the film in the credits? I, I familiarized myself a bit, but I, I wouldn't call myself an expert by any means. You know, I think that the script was so well written that it really, it was just, uh, the, the only challenge was just kind of, you know, knowing this dialogue backwards and forwards. And yeah, exactly, all this, all this, you know, uh, legal jargon basically, and just delivering it with supreme confidence, you know, and I think, you know, opening statements and closing arguments specifically, you know, it's really about believing wholeheartedly in what you're saying. And by the time we get to the end of this story and by the time we get to the closing arguments of this case, uh, my character, Tom Endler, you know, uh, He's fighting, he's fight, he feels like he's fighting for his life just as much as Grace is fighting for hers. I mean, he's truly invested. I think he's opened up his mind at that point to faith and is really inspired and in awe of, of Grace's unwavering faith, even in the face of a, of a case that it seems like they're gonna lose. So, uh, you know, I, I, that's what it was all about for me. Okay. Can you tell us how you prepared for this particular scene? You know, I took some of my my own personal experience, my own personal journey to faith, and kind of brought that to the character. You know, and um, you know that's that that's how I that's how I deepened out the character emotionally. Melissa, as an actress and as a Christian, can you tell us a little bit about what it meant to you to play the role of Grace in God's Not Dead Two, and how did this film affect you personally? Uh, well, it affected me. Um, in so many ways. Um, when I first read the script and I was asked to do it, it wasn't coming at a great time personally for me as far as my family life goes. Um, I wasn't able to really pick up and go film a movie in Arkansas. Um, but I read the script and watched the first film and felt very called to do it. Like I had to make space in my life for this. And um, and so in that way, it, it changed me because I really took a stand to go make this movie and be a part of it. I thought the script was well written. I thought the characters were great. Um, you know, I, 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 I love being in the South, so being in Little Rock was a fantastic adventure. Um, but, um, you know, this character was a challenge for me because she's very introverted. She's, um, you know, one of these uh, just very convicted, um, you know, faithful, sweet, kind-hearted, and I tend to be more fast-paced, loud, extrovert. So. Um, you know, I had to really quiet myself and really, he gets to do a lot of the, he had some tough scenes I felt for this man. I was like, I wish I could take <laughs> half of this speech off your hand. He had like six pages at one at one day or something. And just pages and pages. And I got to sit there and go, you know, like kind of just react. <laughs> so that was hard for me to, it it's was challenging very challenging, challenging for me. in its own right, definitely. <laughs> yeah, to stay is. in a scene when, you know, you don't have anything when to you, say. When it's hard, yeah, you don't have a lot driving you. So you have to really, the internal monologue is, is really going. and. Um, but you know, I was able to pull from a lot of experiences in my life, a lot of people in my life, um, to bring this character to life. And, and uh, you know, she definitely had a story to tell. And I, I'm really, really proud of the way this movie turned out. Well, it was so exciting to talk with the two of you today. Thanks so much for joining us. And I would love to encourage all of our viewers to go out and see this incredible film, God's Not Dead 2. It has an amazing, amazing cast, along with Melissa Joan Hart and Jesse Metcalf. It stars Maria Canals Barrera, Haley Orantia, 
uh, the legendary Pat Boone and the Newsboys and many, many more talented. Ray Wise, we can't forget him. Just a fabulous, fabulous film. So take your friends, your family, your church family, and enjoy this incredibly inspiring and empowering film. Thanks for watching. It was great to be with you guys. We look forward to seeing you next time as we celebrate food, faith, and family. Take care and God bless.